Hey everyone, it's Matt. I just let people know what we're working on. So uh, there's a fun conversation recently between folks at NVIDIA working on Rapids, uh, Dask folks at Coiled, and also some science folks like Alistair Miles to do large signal value decompositions to accelerate some genomics health processing. Uh, Alistair had an interesting comment here. We were talking about uh, whether or not GPUs are worth it, if it's something we should really focus on. And I said, hey, my request is really something where I can do this large SUD computation in interactive time, where he defines interactive time as anything less than it takes to make a cup of tea. Um, he wants to stay within his normal working environment, a Jupyter notebook, and sort of not worry about any long running tasks. Uh, so uh, we're working on this for other reasons, but I thought I'd bring in our sort of cloud deployment product, Coiled Cloud, uh, to split around. Uh, so we can connect up to Coiled Cloud and it will launch for us DAS clusters on AWS in a way that we are managing, sort of the way that we like. This takes about a minute to run. I'll talk about it briefly while that's happening. So we're creating a configuration that makes sense for this workload. Uh, we're using you know, modestly sized machines and we are setting some environment variables, doing a lot of matrix multiplies here. We wanna make sure that the underlying BLOS libraries have the right configuration. Uh, we might have wanted to add some extra pip packages. An earlier iteration of this computation used uh, libraries R for compression, which will be important later. Um, and then we're once that configuration is made, we're making uh, an instance of that configuration. This is something that I could share with my teammates or my colleagues, so they didn't have to think about the right you know, Docker image to use. One person can set, that, can set that up and then share that with others. So what's nice about that is that I actually originally ran this notebook uh, locally, just with my laptop. I'm on my laptop now, I'm on localhost, I'm not on any cloud service, I'm running locally. Uh, but I can switch out to use Coiled in a nice way. Uh, we interact with all the standard Dask interfaces. So for example, the Dask lab extension works just fine. And we can hook up and see you know, all of our workers running on AWS uh, nicely there for us. And everything's connected up, everything's nicely secure. Looks like Dask is warning us that we have slightly different versions for Dask between my local machine and the cloud, and between some compression libraries. And that can be a problem sometimes. In this case, there's enough wiggle room, I think we'll be okay. Uh, I wanna focus again on this sort of scaling up time. So our response time currently is limited by how fast AWS can give us a pod on the cloud. And today, the best way we can do that ends up taking about a minute. That's still fine. That's within Alistair's time to make a cup of tea limit, uh, but it is slightly annoying. You know, this is gonna take about a minute and I'm gonna pause the video while that's happening. We're gonna come back in a moment. Yeah, so we're back. So that took 57 seconds as advertised about a minute uh, and that's it. So I can scale things up and down and now I'm actually ready to go back into the science that I was working on before I started thinking about scaling up. So this notebook originally I was running on my laptop. It's a you know modest laptop running Linux. Uh, and I can, I was working on this genomics problem. So Alistair's data is uh, a large array where every row in the array corresponds to human. So you might have a couple million human beings, all of whom have had their genome sequenced. And it looks like there's 100,000 columns, each of which corresponds to some gene site. I actually don't know this very well, um, but some, some gene thing on the columns. And those values take the values between sort of one and four is my rough understanding. To store that compactly, we're using 8-bit integers, which is the, the smallest data type that NumPy can provide. Uh, that's actually not small enough. We kind of only want to use 2-bit integers, right? We've only got four values. We like to use 2-bit integers to really pack that stuff in. You can see that now, as an 8-bit integer, it's taking up 200 gigabytes, which is more data than my RAM machine has RAM. If I compacted that down to a very concise uh, system, get down to 50 gigabytes. Still more than I would have, but it's, you know, it's getting closer. So we were playing around a little bit with NumPy to pack uh, four of those values into a single byte. Um, and that's sort of neat that we can do that with normal NumPy bit packing. Uh, and so what we can do is we can take our Dask array, we can compress it down using this sort of bit packing technique persist that in memory, uh, and then lazily decompress it. So the pointer that we have to this array is, uh, is decompressed, but it's being stored in memory in this compressed state, hopefully taking up about, I would hope, 50 gigabytes. Now I have 
launched that. And so that is from my laptop, making that task graph, shipping it off to the cloud where our DAS scheduler is running. And it took you know 10 seconds there to upload that graph. That graph has tens of thousands of tasks in it. So there's a little bit of time, depends on my local internet connection, which is new. Uh, but you can see we're generating tons of random data, we're compressing it, uh, and we're storing it. And we're taking up, you know, across our 20 workers, about 50 gigabytes of, of memory. And now we can run the thing that Alistair was curious about, which is doing an SVD. Uh, they want to find factors in this data set that correspond to health effects. Uh, and so they want to run this computation quickly in the cloud, um, or quickly generally. The cloud is one way to do that. And there we go. So we're running a very large SVD using Dask's sophisticated SVD algorithms uh, on this large data set in the cloud. And what's nice is that we're, we're running that, we're driving that from our laptop. We didn't have to change our workflow, go into some other company's product, rewrite things in some proprietary notebook format and work there. The, the shift from what we had to do, I'm gonna scroll up here to the top again. Previously, we used to run a local client, a local task client. And now we set up and configure and deploy a, a different DAS client, a different DAS cluster. And everything else is exactly the same. So all the science that we did, talking about compression, talking about random values, talking about genomics, that has stayed the same. And my, my workload, my work environment has also stayed the same. I did not have to upset my development flow in order to accelerate my computation on this large SVD computation. Uh, and so now I'm going to go get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. And so that finished running. That took 2 minutes, 28 seconds. That's kind of within the cup of tea uh, range. Maybe Alistair is enjoying his tea a little bit longer. If we wanted to make it faster, we could always scale up. So this computation cost us something like a few cents. So these nodes, uh, if you're using on-demand pricing, which we don't, uh, 20 cents an hour. If you're using spot pricing, which we do, we're using 5 cents an hour. Uh, we're using 20 of them, plus maybe one for the scheduler, which is a little bit smaller. Uh, we ran this for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, so in total, that's about 16 seconds, 16 cents. Uh, you know, Alistair is in the UK, he's in Oxford. Maybe it's, you know, 14p or whatever it is based on the, the exchange rate these days. So it's relatively cheap. Uh, again, we might forget things. We might forget to shut this down, and we would charge up a huge amount of money. Uh, we're running this all on Coiled Cloud, and so it's nice because that's kind of managed for us. Right? We're using same defaults. Things will shut down after 20 minutes if they're idle. We track what's being used, all those things. So very briefly, sales pitch for Coiled, we do three things. We developed advanced analytics capabilities. For example, distributed SVDs on GPUs in a way that's accessible for genomic scientists, right? Those are something that we're very good at doing, along with partnerships with groups like NVIDIA. We host DAS clusters, which are easy to use. Hopefully everything I showed you today was friendly and didn't seem surprising to you, but also easy to manage and have cost controls, right? If I try to do something like cluster.scale 1,000 and ask for 1,000 machines at once, I'm actually not allowed to do that because my administrator hasn't really given me that permission. I can only scale up to 50 machines. We also track performance over time just to see how things are going. We also do give enterprise support and are just sort of there to help people get things done, which we're fairly good at. So if you want to learn more, go to coil.io or give us a shout out at uh, coil, uh, info at coil.io. Uh, sign up for mailing lists, go to Twitter, all those good things. Thank you all for listening. Hope you, hopefully you learned some things about deploying Dask, maybe a little bit of science, and heard a little sales pitch at the end. What's wrong with that? Okay, thanks everyone.